Hey internet friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay Lijo. If you're new here, hey, what's up? Uh, glad you came to the fun function party. So today we're going to be talking about the number one way to improve your sensory function. One concept, one concept to apply that will really change a lot. We're gonna get into that today. If you'd like to talk about this subject with me personally, one-on-one -on -one over a video chat, you can do that via my link below to snug. So let's start talking about sensory. All right, so if you're an intuitive dominant and you have an NI function or an NE function, that is introverted intuition or extroverted intuition, as a savior dominant function, you're going to have sensory as a demon or inferior function. Now that could either be SI, introverted sensing, or SE, extroverted sensing. Either way, it's sensory, it's reality. It is the things that happen in the real, physical world. The greatest difference in impact as it relates to sensory was actually taught to me by someone who was a uh, savior sensory. And that was output in the sensory is what matters most in the sensory. So what is output? Well, output is what will physically be different in the real world when you are done with it. So the lesson that I kind of took home from my own self and that I've been kind of helping other people understand as well is that we need to be tracking and judging our own output as our metric for how well we are actually doing in the sensory. Now, again, this is what we tend to do. We'll be like, oh yeah, I'm working on this thing. I've been thinking about how this will work with this other thing. We'll be like, in idea abstract land for so much of the time that it'll be like hours will go by. And then someone who's saber sensory might come along and be like, okay, so what's different? What's changed? Like what's new? Literally what's new? And you're like, oh, well, I'm, I'm like, you know, three quarters of done with this puzzle that I've been like trying to figure out of how this other thing would work. That's what we're gonna do as a default. What we do have to pay attention to is what has literally changed. What have we done that has changed some kind of physical, actual reality that was different two hours later than it was two hours before? What, what has literally actually changed? And then how, how good is that in terms of where we're trying to go, the goals that we're trying to meet? So if you're trying to apply this to yourself, what you can do is take a list of your goals, right? And then break them off into day, by day pieces. Again, we're gonna focus on the, the here and now, the present reality. And for that day, make a list of the things that you need to change in the physical reality to be closer to meeting that goal. Think about, here's the mountain with the goal, right? You're down here at the bottom. If you don't take steps that physically move you in the real world, you will never get up the, the mountain. And that's why intuitives get so frustrated with like, oh, I'm not going anywhere. It's a, I don't know what I wanna do with you know my life or I don't know, like, oh gosh, everything is taking so long. It's taking so long because you're not actually moving. You're not actually walking up the mountain. You're like, you're chilling. Okay, you're eating snacks on the way up the mountain. You brought those cliff bars for the entire mountain. You've eaten the whole box at the first hundred feet. Okay, so that's what we're doing. And make them super specific. So if you were trying to work towards a term paper, you know, say, these are the pieces of material that I need to read. I need to read 100 pages from this. I need to read 100 pages from this. I need to have X amount of notes made for this and that in order for me to be prepared for writing this, you know, paper, let's say. What are the pieces that physically need to be different from one day to the next? Now, obviously in the beginning, you're not in practice with this, right? You haven't been doing it very long. Your neural transmitters that um, work in these directions are underdeveloped. They are little weak baby arms and your intuitive functions are your strong arms, okay? So you have to build up the strength and then start to really be critical of judging your output. Could I have actually done more today? Could I actually have sent another 10 emails? Could I actually have maybe worked a little bit harder to produce some more of that content to get that out there in the world? Start to track your real life progress. And the thing is, is that I think as intuitive types, when we actually do make the progress in reality and we, we do do the thing, we, like, we actually do the thing and actually like, you know, we see the change in it. We're like, wow, wow, look at the thing. I moved the thing, you know? And uh, that is very encouraging because it reminds us that yes, we can actually do reality. We can actually do the sensory. 
uh, we have to do it. It's part of living in the real world. So those are my thoughts on this subject. I hope you guys learned a little bit about just one important thing to better your sensory functions, track your output, be critical of it, start taking steps up your mountain that actually are specific and move you forward. I'll see you next time in my next video. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, internet friends. Hey, internet friends, welcome. Hey, hey internet subject, one-on-one -on -one via video chat. <laughs>